is hiding himself inside of the faces of other people and then instead of thinking on how much I need Hashem, how much Hashem is giving to me and you'll be so full with gratitude and, and complete faith and trust in Him, you need other people to help you. But they're not really other people. Those are the curtains, the faces that Hashem Yidbarach is dressing Himself in them, in those, to shine for us. So, when a person is talking to you, when someone is even hurting you, so, uh, insulting you, rebuking you, always you need to remember, also flattering you, also give you compliments, always need to remember, it's Hashem Itbarach talking to me through that person now. So now, also on that understanding, there is much more to talk. Because, there are many people that when they make their few first steps in tshuva, coming into the world of faith, and they now think that they see Hashem, so they start to ignore people. They think, no, I'm serving Hashem, I don't need to look at people, I don't need to think about people, I don't need to explain myself to people. And they still cannot see the complete picture of Hashem. So when Hashem Itbach is talking to them through those people, they will ignore the message of Hashem. And they're just closing themselves and blocking the light of Hashem Itbarach from passing through those people to them and to educate them and to help them. So that's a very big failure. And many, many people that claim to serve Hashem are failing and falling in the, this thing. That they're forgetting the real message on, on Derech Eretz Kadmala Torah on how much it is important for you, for us, to be friendly and nice to each other. And the fact that that person is now being used for you by Hashem to give you a certain message, to teach you something, doesn't make him small for you or less important. Just even more so. Now you need to honor him, to understand that Hashem Barach is dressing himself in that person. So how important that person if he is now being used as royal garments of the king of honor, if he now is a tool, a weapon in the hand of the Creator to provide, provide us with a message, with wisdom, we need to be grateful. And this is why it's written, Ehovet HaTochecha, that you should love the rebuke. How can you love the rebuke? How are you going to show that you love the rebuke when you're going to keep your love to the one that rebukes you? That when he is rebuking you, you will not going to hate him for that. Not only to accept his words and to hate him. And on that it's been said that when a person is doing tshuva, so Yikara tshuva, the main part of tshuva, Rabbeinu is telling us, is shishma bizyono, that he will hear the insulting, vidom veishtok, and that he will be quiet and won't talk. So, <coughs> why you need to say, that he will be quiet and also not going to talk, that he will be quiet and also his heart will not going to talk to him from inside, that he won't have foreign thoughts, bad thoughts, negative thoughts on that person that is rebuking him. That person just now been chosen by Hashem Barach to provide you with a message that is so required for you. Just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all Him, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks. husks.